So a couple weeks ago, right, um, there was a, a, an article, right? The church cannot bless same-sex unions. So the possibility of imparting a blessing to unions of same-sex couples, noting that it does not imply a judgment on persons involved. Hey, what's up, everybody? I am your host, Daniel Barron. And I'm your co-host, Michael Gonzalez. And welcome to God First with DM. Like once again, like I shared with you guys in the other video, welcome to our new studio, we've got a new film crew, we've got a new setup and everything. Um, and I know it might be a little bit, of, you know, a little bit of time for you guys to get used to this new style and stuff, but you know, expect new things, new topics, new videos, new guests in this new series, right? Yeah. Like we were mentioning, hopefully we get some female speakers, just you know, so we could like talk about other things, you know. Stay posted. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, uh, today, what are we going to be talking about? So a couple weeks ago, right, um, there was a, a, an article, right, and, and it was pretty surfacing around social media. And it was kind of controversial as well. Exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, so today, we're just kind of going to try to unpack that news um, and share with you guys, you know, what was shared, what did Pope Francis agree to, or what did he say? Mm -hmm. And lastly, like, why, you know, with, with the church's teaching and all, why... why is that um, consistent with um, what has already been taught, and you know, with the con with in respect to like with um, respecting other people and stuff, right? Okay. Well, uh, do you want to share with us, you know, the the the, the article, like the name of it and stuff? Right. And so today we're going to be focusing on the Holy See, the Pope. The Church cannot bless same-sex unions, and it just says the Congregation for the Doctrine of the Faith responds in the negative to the possibility of imparting a blessing. To unions of same-sex couples, noting that it does not imply a judgment on purpose on persons involved. So obviously, from from face value, um, you know, especially with the society where we live in, to, um, you know, in 2021, except you know, accepting really of everything, mm -hmm. um, this can seem very controversial, right? Um, because to many, uh, when viewing Pope Francis and stuff, you know, we 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 or you know, I don't want to say we, but you know, everybody tends to see him. Uh, as someone that's ready to change the customs of the church, right? Change uh, church teaching, right? And a lot of people, like, even if people aren't even religious or people aren't even Catholic, are hoping, right, that like, there might be some sort of change. To bring in new progressive ideas, you know, within the church. But obviously, um, we cannot do that, you know? Like, the church it has been established in teachings, dogmas, and morals. We can't change that. We, exactly. We could try to explain it for you guys to, like, understand more, but... We cannot change things. And that, exactly. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're here to talk today about, right? W why did Pope Francis say we can't bless um, same-sex unions, right? Mm -hmm. um, so like when Michael shared, um, this was issued on Monday. Um, obviously, not this Monday or the Monday that you guys will be seeing it, right? But it was a response to a dubium um, and the congregation of the doctrine of faith, right? Um, said that Pope Francis gave his um, assent to this publication, right, this, this uh, letter um, that, that, we, that we're discussing, right, mm -hmm. which is, once again, that uh, Pope Francis, right, um, and therefore the church um, cannot bless same-sex unions. Um, Michael, do you want to talk a little bit about... Or yeah, you know, so within, like, the dubian that was presented, it stated that, therefore, it is not listed for priests to bless homosexual couples, who asked for some type of religious recognition of their union. So it's like how we were um, discussing earlier, well, before, you know, having this video. Um, we were discussing, like, it's okay to, like, for a priest, you know, like, let's say um, a homosexual person comes to a priest and asks for a blessing, right, individually. That's totally fine, you know. I'm pretty sure the priest is going to bless you like any other being, you know. But as the thing he should, is, right? Mm -hmm. As he should. As he should, right? Right. Just but, like as, as a priest mm -hmm. should bless anyone that's a sinner, right? Yeah. If, I, if I am a, a man um, struggling with, with um, you know, let's say alcoholism or, or pornography or um, fornication or, or really any sin, any sin yeah. you know, the priest should be there to bless me, to encourage me, to, to follow um, the, church, the church's teaching, the, right, the, the teachings of Christ, mm -hmm. and to repent and change, right? Um, so sorry, I didn't mean it. Mm -hmm. And also, we'll just give you like advice on like what you should do instead of like falling into that same sin. Oh, right. Before I just want to mm -hmm. cut you off. And remember, um, everybody, the church has always taught 
that we need to respect the dignity of everyone, everyone. right? Mm -hmm. And that means is, is respecting sinners, regardless of the sin that they have, mm -hmm. right? And in this case, in this article, we're talking about people that, that struggle with uh, same-sex attraction, mm -hmm. right? And um, if we see people here in the church, we have to be accepting of them, right? Yeah. And we have to love them totally. and respect mm -hmm. them. But then there comes to, that, that comes to a degree, right? Uh, and that's what Pope Francis and the church was saying. Yeah. Um, there's, a, there's a degree. There, there's a, some form of a like... A certain extent that you yeah, can Yeah, because it's mm -hmm. a, it's a, it's a, it has to be mutual, right? Their relationship that, uh, that we build, right, with the church and ourselves, right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So, yeah, just going like I was mentioning before, like, yeah, if you ask the priest for a blessing, obviously he would give it to you. But the thing here is like, let's say a same-sex couple going to a priest to bless that, that's totally not okay. Like, like, it's just meaning, like, how you mentioned earlier, right? God um, God could bless a sinner, but not the sin, obviously. Do you want to Cause, yeah, yeah, more? Because, what's again, blessing us in, in, the, in, in the sense that, um, it, you know, God pushing us or giving us the graces, right, to, to leave a life without sin or to leave that life of sin, mm -hmm. right? But to, um, in this example bless uh, a homosexual union um, would mean to be accepting of that union um, mm -hmm. which is disordered like the like the the uh, catechism states and there's um, in the article that we're reading right um, and really the congregation of, of, of the faith what they said um, is they listed two reasons why um, Pope Francis and the church is, is taking this stance right the first one it says in regards uh, the first regards the truth and value of blessings, which are sacramental liturgical actions of the church, which require that what is being blessed be objectively and positively ordered to receive and express grace according to the design of God inscribed in creation. And God inscribed in the beginning with creation for a man and woman to come together, right? And that's why that sacrament, the sacrament of marriage, marriage between a man and a woman can be um, recognized, right? Because it's objectively and positively ordered. And the same cannot be said of a homosexual union. Mm -hmm. The reason is, like I said, it wasn't, um, it, it, no, it wasn't the design of God when he, you know, inscribed the uh, creation, right? And because of that, there can't be the blessing, right? And then the, the, sec the second reason is um give me one second mm -hmm. the, yeah it says yeah um this consideration not only concerns some same-sex couples but also unions that involve sexual activity outside of, of matrimony which is important right mm -hmm. so if if there are two um you know man and a woman that aren't married that are performing or engaging in, in sexual activity then the, the church, the, you know, the priest, there's no blessing there either. There's no blessing either. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Because it's, once again, it's not positively and objectively ordered mm -hmm. because there is no marriage in there. Yeah, exactly. So, so it's, that's important to know too, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And also, like, I would like to mention... Um, okay, so uh, let me just reread it. Go ahead, Michael. <laughs> Yeah, and then lastly, uh, it says, you know, another reason for the negative response, right, which was what Pope Francis had assented to, um, is that there is a risk of blessing the same-sex union may be mistakenly associated with the sacrament of matrimony. Mm -hmm. So th those are some of the reasons, again, that uh, Pope Francis, and by that, um, you know, assented with the congregation um, of faith, yeah. that the church cannot bless same-sex union. Yeah, so and also going again back to like the teaching of the church of husband and wife, right? Man and woman. Uh, the Catholic teaching says that marriage is a lifelong union between a man and woman, right? We all know that. And it's part of God's plan because it is intended for the sake of procreating life, you know? Exactly. Bringing, for, bringing into the world new life, right? And we can't say the same with like same sex um, unions, right? Because they're intended parts of the plan. Um, they can be blessed by the church because they're not bringing in for new love. Like, I understand, like, um, there's a lot of people, like, you know, like, advocates for, for this, right, within the church. But the thing is that 
like I get the whole understanding like you know loving another a person right like let's say you struggle with like same sex attraction and you feel like you love this person right but we strongly as a church says like it's totally it's fine to some extent but we can't really push forth like you know accepting this marriage or accepting the union or the right? union of this same sex like um as a church like like how you were mentioned earlier like we we um we have to show respect and dignity towards these people because you guys are our brothers and sisters as well right I and mean, you're more than welcome in our church but the thing is that we we cannot co constantly express this whole ideology of like blessing same-sex union or actually making it a thing and, and like like i said like how we are sure you know the pope even by that matter has cannot change um marriage marriage like is was created right um in the in the image of god right mm -hmm. um, not in the image of god but what i'm trying to say is that um marriage has been in the plan of god and in the plan of creation Ever since, since the, yeah since, since, since the beginning since and the thus beginning. it can't change right the pope can't come out come, come can, can't unless god says it himself but come on that like, that would be contrary to yeah that that's, be... that's another discussion michael mm -hmm. um but you know like for that matter like the pope can't say to like tomorrow or next year that you know what marriage between three people is okay yeah right or, or marriage between four people is okay Right, he so, cannot do that at all. You know, if it's because all it's heterosexual, from, since, since, yeah. So, since from since the beginning, marriage has, is, and will always be, between a man and a woman. Mm -hmm. And, it, you know, just to kind of conclude this video, it's, yes, th that's what marriage is, was, is, and always will be. But there's people that struggle with same-sex attraction, and like how he's always shared, we have to respect them and love them just like how we love and respect all our brothers regardless of any sins that they may be going through yeah right Cause, but because many well, times like we bring them those people down right but we shouldn't be you know we shouldn't be judgmental and towards that we should actually help them out because even one of us you know like even if we have like heterosexual or other you know ideologies or attractions um we should respect each other with respect and try to help one another out and we shouldn't look like at that person just because they like the certain way we shouldn't look bad upon them exactly you know? everybody you know like you know for all have sin and for all flush out of the glory of god right mm -hmm. so it says yeah. in the bible i was actually gonna read that but i <laughs> no, forgot i, be, about I it. beat you to it i remembered <laughs> it all right for all have sin and for all flush out of the glory of god yeah Romans so it's important 3, <laughs> so, so it's important for us in the church especially us in the church to not look down at other people that may me may, may i guess we can say be more sinning than us. Yeah. I, I, I'd be the first one to say that I'm a sinner, mm -hmm. right? And I, I've made some big mistakes in my life, and I'm pretty sure all of us, all of us. seeing this video have at one point in our lives, right? But just because I am a sinner, and now I'm going to church and trying to become a better person, doesn't mean I'm going to put people down. And you I know? also want to add this, like Romans 5.8. But God shows us his love for us, and that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. So basically right here saying, like, die we we all sinners and Christ especially died for us out of love mm -hmm. so we should all treat each other with love and respect and respect everyone's um, exactly ideas and, and, and you know for all the times that or you know maybe we've seen a lot of people putting people down because mm -hmm. of their sin I think us as Christians it's time for us to uplift each other and point like the direction back to Christ back to the back to the heavens right mm -hmm. um, and with that let's remember we all struggle with sin we all have our form of sin but God, you know, at the end is, is truth, right? And, and can't be contrary to truth. Um, and what Pope Francis assented to through the, this, um, through the congregation mm -hmm. is that marriage is between a man and a woman and the church cannot um, bless the act of sin. It can bless a sinner. And, can, and it can tell a sinner to, to repent and change and, and to, you know, follow Christ. But it, it can't tell, it, it can't tell, the church can't tell me it's okay, you know, to be a fornicator. It's okay yeah. to, to watch pornography. It's okay to watch uh, or, you know, masturbate. It's okay to um, be an alcoholic. It's, it's, you know, it's okay to have an abortion. You know, the yeah. church can never change that. No. But mm -hmm. I think, you know, us as young people here and for those mm -hmm. watching at home, remember um, to, you know, we have to love everybody, accept everybody and Point the way to Christ. 
right? Because at yeah. the end of the day, true conversion is through Christ, through not Christ through alone. me, yeah. not through you, not through our priest, through Christ alone. Through Christ alone. And you have to find that, you know, conversion with him, you know? Because um, Daniel or I or like the priest or the church may say this stuff, but at the end of the day, is is that connection between you and Christ and whether how you express that, you know, that mutual feeling. Mm -hmm. Because so, only Christ or God could save you. And we we could tell you what to do, but at the end of the day, it's just, it's up to you, basically. So with that, I hope that clarified a little bit of um, what was, I guess, surfacing in the internet or maybe mm -hmm. whatever what you heard in, you know, the mainstream media or something. Um, remember that Christ is love and Christ is calling each one of us, me and Michael included, or Michael and my apologies, Michael and I included, to conversion, all of us. Mm -hmm. We're all sinners, and, call, and Christ is calling us back to Him. Mm -hmm. So with that, thank you for watching this video. Um, um, also, I would like to add, um, since um, we're back, you know, feel free to comment down below. Maybe you guys have some, have some topics you want us to go over or like some ideas, you know. Feel free to write that down. Or if you guys see us in person, you know, like let us know, hey, can you guys talk about this or something. So thank you. Definitely. Once again, <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe. We have a lot more uh, unique, crazy, fun, interactive um, <laughs> ideas, guest speakers um, in store. So look forward to, we look forward to um, presenting those to you guys. Thank right, you. And we'll see, see you in the next one. <laughs>